back in 2009, lost my sight temporarily to operations and got more fields and got my sight back. So at that point decided I had enough of accountancy and do something that I was passionate about, which in this case was chocolate, I like making it, like cooking it, like eating it. All accountants and lawyers and anyone who works in the office wants to do something else. They want to do something where they can express the flair in themselves, that they can do something that says who they are, what their DNA is. And all the chocolates we do have our DNA in. And lots of people say to us, no, I don't. I would like milk chocolate, I don't like dark chocolate. And the fact is you can have a dark chocolate that's around 55% and you get the same taste and flavour as you would from a good quality milk chocolate. But it's, you get a, a, a legacy flavour, you get a taste that lasts longer. You don't have to eat as much of it because there's not as much sugar. It's a creative nature of it. I think chocolate is just such a uh, all-embracing. It's you've got the technicality of all the other cooking disciplines like baking, but you can be creative. We do a lot of one-off sculptures, and then there's there's a lot of chocolates out there. So it's how to be different from them. How can you make it special? How can you show someone that you've put your love and passion into it? And when we sell chocolates to people. Nearly always you get that smile as soon as they put it in their mouth and they realise there's something special about them. A lot of people now on plant-based diets, vegan diets, lactose intolerant, and if you're eating dark chocolate, it just hits, hits the mark on all those.